morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. ICSC syllabus we have conditional constructs, right? And children, what all is there in that? You have if statement, you have switch case statement and you have ternary operator. And in section A, you get one question for the conversion. That is, you have to convert either if else to switch case or switch case to if else or the ternary operator statement to if else statement. Right, children? Most of the time, one question is always there. So, children, along with the programming practice, you have to practice the questions for section A also. Right? So, today we will be doing few questions based on the conversion of conditional statements from one type of conditional statement to another type, right? And please do check the PDF link in the description box today. Some practice questions are there. Please do practice that. And don't forget to write those answers in the comment section, right? In case you are writing anything wrong, I'll check you there only, okay? So the first one, rewrite using if else statement. Yes, children, you get the questions like this. So, it is written question mark colon. This is the ternary operator, right? Or the conditional operator. You have to convert this statement using if else statement. So, how we have to do? See here, always before the question mark, the condition is there. Question mark se pehle kya hoga? Condition hoga. Or question mark or colon ke beech mein what is there? The statement. Jo agar condition true hogi to konsa statement execute hoga that is written after question mark or agar a condition false hoti hai to konsa statement execute hoga that is written after colon sign right and now here the expression is there so this expression means this variable will take that expression this expression will be assigned to this variable right children so ab sabse pehle dekho yahan pe condition kya hai अगर हमको इसको if else में करना है तो if के बाद हम क्या लिखते हैं condition so here you will write if और if के बाद you will give the bracket condition क्या है a greater than 200 you have to write the condition अब अगर ये condition true है तो ये statement ये expression किसको assign होना है ch variable को so here you will write ch equals to a into 5 plus 10 and put a semicolon, right? Here semicolon is must, although it is not mentioned here because here this semicolon is the end of the statement here. But here your statement is ending here. So all of you know semicolon is the statement terminator, right? The last character of each statement. Or here ch or int ch here so we will declare it like this int ch फिर condition दिया condition जो यहाँ पर है that you will write here अब अगर ये condition true है तो हमको क्या करना है we have to assign this to variable ch else else में कब आएगा जब ये condition false होगी और अगर ये condition false है तो ये mathematical expression की value assign होनी है ch variable को so here you will write a slash 20 plus 20. That's it. Very simple, very easy. But you need to practice. Children, here I want to say whenever you get such type of questions, बहुत सारे बच्चे पूरा पूरा program लिखने लगते हैं नहीं. आपको क्या करना है? जो statement दिया है, केवल उसी को convert करना है. कई लोग class से, main से, पूरा program लिखने लगते हैं. Please avoid that. Right children? And children, I hope this question is clear to you. Second one, exactly similar type. So, I will do it first. INT X. What is the data type of X? X. Condition kya hai? Y is equals to 10. So, this is the condition. Or condition hum kis ke saath denge? If ke saath. Agar ye condition true hai, then X will be 100. Else, X will be 200. Right children? So, these type of small, small, simple questions you need to practice. And once you will understand, it will be very easy for you to write section A questions. Right, children? Children, this question I have taken from previous year board questions. 
and this question already I have solved in our PYQ series. Right children? So here if you notice here also one question mark is there. Here also colon is here also here also. So this is the condition. Condition is this. And if this condition is true, this will be executed. And if this is condition is false, in that case, this will be executed. Right? Now, let us see how it will work. Declare the data type of grade variable. That is string type. So, string grade I have written. What we will write with if statement? Condition. Condition kya hai? Marks greater than equals to 90. Now, if this condition is true, question mark ke bhi kya hai? A. That means, grade is equals to A. Grade ki value ho gai? A. Else, if this is false, agar ye false hai, then again one ternary operator is used here. That means, again we have to use one if. Else, if the second condition marks greater than equals to 80. Again, please, I am explaining. Please look here. Agar ye condition true hai, to grade ki value ho gai A. Or agar ye condition false hai, to fir check ho ga ki marks ki value greater than equals to 80 hai ki nahi hai. So, agar ye condition false hai, then again we are checking if marks is greater than equals to 80. So, if this is true now, then this will be assigned or agar ye condition false hogi, to ye assign hoga, right? To humne yaha pe kiya kiya? If marks greater than equals to 80, grade is equals to B, else grade is equals to C. Children, please practice these type of questions, right? Now children, the next question is rewrite the following code using if statement. Children, again here I am telling you that please don't write the whole program. Only you have to convert the given statements into the required ones, right? The code is int x equals to 2, a1, a2, a3. These three variables are declared. Switch x, case 1, values are there. Case 2, values are there. Now here if you notice, default statement is missing. So, default is optional statement, right? If none of the matching case is found, then only the default statement is executed. Otherwise, it is not required, right? Now, the solution for this. Here, you have to convert this into if. So, the first line, you will not leave that. You have to rewrite this entire statement, right? So, first line you will write like this only, int x equals to 2, a1, a2 and a3, these three you will declare. Now, after this switch x, here x is the control variable, that means with condition we have to use this x. x ki value 1 hogi to kya, x ki value 2 hogi to kya karna So, here if x jo control variable hai that you will write here or jo case ki value hai first case ki value you will write here if x is equals to 1 to humko kya karna if you see here two statements are required when the value of case is 1 so more than one statement you have to put within the braces right a2 equals to 10 there is no such statement for break. Break ke liye hum kya? Close kar dhe ke wal do statements execute ho nahi hai. Jab x ki value 1 hai. That is a1 equals to 5, a2 equals to 10 aur isko ek block mein kar diya. Right? Aur second aapka kya condition hai? x ki value agar 2 hai. So again you will put that if x is equals to 2 to aapke again two statements are there. So we need to put them within the braces this equals to 20 and a3 equals to 30. That's it. Right children? So I hope how this is converted to if it is clear to you. Yaha par control variable hamesha if ke saath condition mein aayega. Aur jitne cases honge, utni conditions honge. Har condition mein aapka iski value compare karoge. 
जो गिवन केसेस हैं उनके साथ राइट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो ऑफ सिमिलर टाइप बट हियर वी हैव डिफॉल्ट ऑप्शन एंड हमको इसको अगेन यूजिंग इफ करना है राइट सो द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट आई एन टी एक्स इक्वल टू फाइव पी क्यू आई हैव रिटर्न लाइक दैट स्विच एक्स सो इफ के साथ हम कौन सा वेरिएबल लिखेंगे एक्स और जब भी चिल्ड्रन हम स्विच को इफ में कन्वर्ट करते हैं तो हमेशा इक्वालिटी का ऑपरेटर लगाएंगे बिकॉज इन स्विच केस ऑलवेज द इक्वालिटी इज चेक्ड राइट चिल्ड्रन सो इफ केस वन दैट मीन्स इफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन टू स्टेटमेंट आर देयर सो अगेन हियर वी विल राइट पी इक्वल टू टू क्यू इक्वल टू थ्री विद इन करली ब्रेसेस अगर केवल एक ही स्टेटमेंट होता तो ब्रेसेस ऑप्शनल होते राइट चिल्ड्रन देन केस टू नाउ वी हैव टू चेक फॉर द सेकेंड कंडीशन सेकेंड केस के लिए हम क्या देंगे एल्स इफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू अगर एक्स की वैल्यू टू है तो क्या करना है अगेन टू स्टेटमेंट आर देयर पी इक्वल टू फोर एंड क्यू इक्वल टू फाइव क्लोजिंग ब्रेसेस देन वी हैव डिफॉल्ट डिफॉल्ट का मतलब कि अगर नन ऑफ द मैचिंग केस इज फाउंड देन द स्टेटमेंट रिटर्न आफ्टर डिफॉल्ट विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड तो यहां पर हम देंगे एल्स और एल्स के साथ कोई भी कंडीशन नहीं लिखेंगे बिकॉज अगर वन है तो ये करो टू है तो ये करो अदरवाइज डू वॉट इज रिटर्न इन एल्स ब्लॉक एल्स अगेन हियर टू स्टेटमेंट आर देयर सो यू विल राइट Q equals to twenty here, right, children? I hope it is clear to all of you. Now, children, one question to convert if to switch case. Now, if you notice here, with all if ch variable is used for checking, right? So that means we have the control variable for switch is ch, right? Now, here, what all are the conditions? Equality operator is used in first four. That means we have four case values. So switch block, all of you know, always within the pair of curly braces, case E. Always whenever you have character value for the case, it has to be enclosed within single quotes. If this is equals to E, what is the statement? East plus plus. This will be. Given here east plus plus and after that the next if is there. इसके बाद क्या है next if है. लेकिन हम case में last statement कौन सा देंगे? Break देंगे. हमेशा last statement of each case will be break. Next value क्या है? Case n, right? Now here what is the statement? North plus plus. So you will write north plus plus. and give the break statement children please note that break statement will not be given in if else block right here only when you are converting it to switch you have to write break statement as the last statement of each case next hai case s and here you have south plus plus yahan pe hum likhenge south plus plus and again break statement एंड उसके बाद आपका है केस डब्ल्यू फॉर दिस यू हैव वेस्ट प्लस प्लस एंड ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट नाउ ये तो चार केसेस हो गए व्हेन वन टू थ्री फोर दीज फोर इफ स्टेटमेंट्स आर देयर लास्ट इफ देखो क्या है दिस इज सी एच इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू ई एंड नॉट इक्वल्स टू एन एंड नॉट इक्वल्स टू एस एंड नॉट इक्वल्स टू डब्ल्यू Then out plus plus ये हमको करना है That means अगर इसमें से कोई भी condition true नहीं है तो we have to increment the value of the variable out by वन So वो हम किस में लिखेंगे Default में If none of the matching case is found, we will write the statement in default and then you close the switch block. Right children? So like this, you will get a question in your exam to convert one type of conditional statement to another type and i hope this is clear don't forget to check the description box to find the pdf link for the practice questions please do that write the answers in the comment section i'll be waiting and i'll check in case you are wrong right children 
for today this much only and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box please do practice work hard happy learning children